Alright, welcome guys. Welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today <laughs> we are doing this. We're doing this for real. It's the Cam Tree Car Mount, okay? Cam Tree and Pro Aim are pretty much the same company, so let's unbox. It comes in this lovely bag. Uh, which is probably which I probably gonna keep Okay, as I can leave the mount on the car every time. So we might want the box. Let's see four Three feet. I'm gonna take this off. Ah, now I see. Ooh, there's stuff in it. Look at this I don't know what these are. They are metal rings All these are stuff that will eventually hold uh, the device okay so yeah good thing I looked I was gonna throw this aside pro M or cam tree they always send you they never send you the instructions in the pack rarely ever they claim that is because of uh, they're trying to reduce uh, what's it called oh yeah that's it they give you a link as well they give you a link to download the instructions so they're saving plant or rather saving nature uh, they don't want to be cutting trees and uh, having to do much paper the link also was sent through the Amazon page while I every time I buy something from pro -Aim, they send a link tutorial link and stuff sometimes links of videos which I think is good so you want to hold on to this link itself if you don't if you can't find the one on Amazon we got the we have the gripper that's what it's called it has came tree gripper came tree gripper and uh, I think this will grip when you close it there's stuff there's screws if things are gonna attach on it which I think is good there's spigot ho um, <laughs> holes which uh, we'll figure out what they are for but we got three of those three of these one, two, three. That's and the third. Okay. Same thing. Uh, we got this. So I don't know what it is. Maybe I will put. Uh, I will label them on the screen. Um, as soon as I know what they are. As soon as I gone through the tutorial or uh, instructions. These are hard plastics. It looks like a. Yeah, there's a metal metal lining inside or maybe it's just harder plastic i don't know but feels like they cover wrapped it up with metal then here uh some uh, allen keys to tighten and screws as well so we'll leave the that in there this guy oh we got a well a ball head which mm, we may, I don't know what we'll need it for, but I think it will help to position the device itself if you want to uh, mount it in a certain way. This might help. It looks like we got a couple of them. Let's, let me take them out. Yep, two. Oh, that's nice. Three. We got like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of them. All right, so we got screws. Those screws to tighten up. Uh, where are those screws? screws. Just like those uh, GoPro screws. This one, I don't know what it is. It looks like a, a weight or like a balance. This is heavy, the heaviest device, the heaviest thing on here. It is heavy. It's just in case I'm talking trash, I'll correct myself every time um, after I actually go through the instructions. All right, so this is a rope, uh, like a string with all this stuff to hold on to so these are good to screw into like places like this or uh, on the camera i've got a backup plan for for screws i have stuff that i will also mount to the camera just to be sure that if it falls it's got something to hold it up from hitting the ground um they got their own backup plans so i'll see how well i can i'm good with that and then i'll decide to either add mine to theirs or work with theirs alone so this is pretty much it. This is all there is. Um, how these things connect, um, I think, uh, yeah, that's where these guys come in.
So I've gone through the instructions. Uh, it looks pretty simple. So we're gonna start. This is heavy. This is the heaviest device here. Mm. And uh, yep, got a screw. The one that will eventually go at the bottom. This is a dust protector. I think we need to keep this on anytime. How it looks. Okay. I'm gonna mount my three points. Guess the camera I'm mounting. It's the Studio 6K Pro. Yep, that's what I'm doing. It's within the limit. I'll show you the scale. It's within the limit, but it's a risk. So let's do the first one here. Gonna do the first one here. And of course, you have to feel strong. You have to wipe the table. Um, you have to wipe the the car okay remove the next so the next one put it over here i haven't gotten the measurement so i'm going to put it down here without uh, mounting it yet just yet so we don't have to take it off and then the third one i'm scared the way this thing is picking it up um if this one is almost gone okay it's attached in the middle yeah it's attached in the middle but these edges are pretty much uh, loose yeah but it's solid in the middle hopefully everything will be fine so i'm not gonna i'm assuming this position i'm assuming this position i'm not gonna stamp anything yet until i get the measurement now and that will be based on these guys so you can start up by applying the long side before the short side but um, i'm going to go with the depending on how you want it but we're going to go with the way they did it in the instructions the short side first on the on this camera mount so this one on one this here one more all right we we'll get this in which is our ball ball joints i'm going to tighten them just so we can get them in so we got ball joints at the beginning and at the end so there we go okay we're going to loosen it later depending on how we want it to be fold into so once again we we'll tighten this and screw this in I think if you are used to these things it will be pretty easy for you to assemble and disassemble um, yeah so one more tighten So you can loosen it and reposition as you like. Okay, something like that. I believe uh, the longer one now. When I get them in, I'll, I'll then measure where these guys should go. One is in place, two more to go. Tighten. That's a long screw. Why isn't it tightening? Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not. Let me take it off. Let me try another one. Oh, well, this one is tight. Okay. Okay, so, but this one is loose. So 
So let's see if we can get this one off. It is loose. Um, can we keep that for the feet? I don't know where it will be safest. I'm going to say it won't come off, but it's not exactly well um, screwed in. It's not exactly in place, but we're going to let it be. Okay. All right. All right. So next thing is that we get one um, one of these again. We get this again and reposition. Let's try and see something like this. Now we have three more. We could go longer if we want to, but I'm thinking this is okay. Depending on how, yeah, we can add some more, but I think this is okay. So we got, uh, we have this to add to it. So once again, tighten before you apply. I'm sure we can swap these ones if you have better ones that are the same You may be able to swap for better ones if you can find better ones that are portable too Just 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 saying um, The last one right, yeah. uh, So um, I might have to contact them to replace this part if they can if they will so I'll take this one and then apply this guy okay it's better now. now we can put this faulty one at the bottom So now we can adjust the way we want. Adjust a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit. Okay. Then next thing is uh, we have three of these things. To put in, we're supposed to put them in here. Um, let's see. So next is we are adding this um, spigot or whatever it is called um, to each of the feet because they're going to mount into these holes. Okay, remember we haven't placed them at the right spot, so. We're gonna figure out in a second, second one to the second feet. Oh yeah, here we have the issue again with this loose one going in circles, but I don't think it's coming off. Third one, third feet. Okay, so now this is about right. I think we can get them. I think the position is about right. We can get them to fit in there. Okay, so, but how wide is our lens? Uh, 18, so we got a 18 to 35, that's what we're using. We got screws. Um, these are the locking screws that will lock these spigots into place. So we can put them in place already. So once again, let's make sure it is clear from all dust. 
Okay, there we go. Yep, looks like feels solid. And then the last but not the least. Okay, so we got it in place. Let them fall so that they fit in here. Okay, so now that distance are sturdy, we can now put in these screws a little bit in place. Good thing it looks like we have extra. Hopefully we are not using them. Right, right about halfway for the installation. So I would say it takes about, if I wasn't recording, maybe 10 minutes. Um, yep. So put this in. Mm. Yep. That works. Now we're, we're gonna have to loosen this so this can get in there. That's how it works. And tighten back. Okay, and then let this guy grind in. Mm. Okay, oh, it feels like it's too back, back center. Let's see if we can turn this guy. Let's see if we can do this way. Do this way a little bit. And then, let's see how it helps. Tighten. And then, tighten this one. All right. So it looks like we're in place. So we got our camera uh, stand steady. Now we have to um, mount whatever is going on here. Let's get, uh, first of all, let's tie up. We need something like this for ropes. Let's screw this in. That will help us tie stuff to it. I'm sure we have something on the camera as well. Um, but this is protecting this one. I would rather have it on my camera though. This is uh, something to grab, maybe somewhere like this, like the bonnet, keep it in place, where to, somewhere to tie to. I know it can come loose, but if you tighten it, it should be all right. And then, uh, got more. Yeah. Got this ropes. Okay, these are like padlocks. Don't know how to lock or open, but we'll figure it out. So I guess this is this hooks onto one part. Yeah, we can push this button here and then it will it will let it back. So get it until we can stretch enough to get this grip here. So let's try that. Okay, so we can take this one off. It's getting too tight. We can take this off and bring it closer. Put it over here and see how it is. Uh, now it's too loose. Um, let's see. Well, that's not the greatest uh, tie, but uh, uh, that's the part I'm not good at. We'll get somebody else to do that on the day 
Oh, but today I'm trying this regardless. I'm testing this sucker. About seven pounds, less than seven actually, but I'll say roughly seven with all this is added. So, as the bolt and nut, nut and bolt, get this guy ready to roll and screw that in. And screw that in. I hope we have enough thread. Uh, this is a tiny base. I don't want to go for anything heavier. Build for like, uh, you know, 15 to 20 kg, if I can remember right. But I know it can handle, it should be by the specs. It should be, and I'll write it on the screen. Okay. So it is in there, but we got a screw. We have a an allen key to make sure it goes deep. Alright, so let's take a look. Okay. If you haven't seen my video, go check it out. How to power this thing using a PoE um, Ethernet cable. There's a device. Which is the only good thing about this, I can adjust the ND if I wish to. Um, now I can start rolling, it's recording. Uh, let me push the ND. Yeah, I expect some vibrations. Let's see how that works. It's a rough road. I'm gonna go slowly. I got my double, my hazard lights on. Yep, that's it. Okay. So with our ND, um, the polarizer, we are not just testing for the footage now, we are testing for the car mount if you can survive um, next time I'm gonna have more cables holding it uh, but nothing's holding my camera now if it breaks from the top I'm in trouble so I'm gonna circle around and return I'm so scared right now I got my Sigma 18 to 35 and a studio camera and an SSD all at risk um, but on the smooth road I think I'll be confident it's taking the weight comfortably and with the position, it's not very sturdy, it's bent, so it means that it's really solid. Uh, hold on, let me even go get it now. I think I can, we can find it and try it. So what you see now, um, I said the, the footage is a lot more stable with the um, FS3 because of the stabilization of the camera. 
the cam the vibration seems to be reduced because of the size of the camera and everything <laughs> i'm a little bit less scared so um we may just end up using this camera after all for the um for this shot for the car shot and then work on you know improving the lights and everything that else that will make the camera sharp we'll see how that works out thank you guys for watching if you like videos like this don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace